welcome to marine tech hub today i am going to explain about maneuvering system with respect to mc engine so in this picture you can see the following thing here you have the starting at distributor you can see the starting at distributor here and uh, when we we start the engine the header or stern so the air will come from here and push this piston here once this piston is pushed inside then this will activate this block so that the air which was coming here it will go here and then the air will go here into the system okay so this is how it is same way here also so the piston is pushed to this side and this is the reversing mechanism where the cam will remain same but the follower will be moving on both direction as per head and stern right now it is in the head direction so when it is astern the piston will move this side and the follower will go that on the opposite direction so here other than that we have the remote control wall the remote control wall is nothing but we will have head astern start stop so we will have blocks each blocks are there where the signal will go and accordingly the signal will go for the air distributor timing and the fuel injection timing okay when you are giving head or astern you can see the indication here head and astern okay when you going to start first the start signal will go here and from there it has to go through the turning gear interlock if there is an interlock then the air will not go so you have to remove the interlock same way air fuel interlock is also there and if that is there then air then this will not pass air then there is a reversing interlock so this also should not be there so we have all these three interlock should not be there then only the air will pass to the starting air once it goes to the starting air that means uh, the air will come here and uh, open the uh, starting air wall and air will go to the unit okay this is when you give start once you give fuel uh, that means uh, fuel will come then you will have the propeller rotating the fuel will come to the fuel pump here fuel pump is there so the fuel control position that will be moving and other is the vit so we will not talk vit right now so the rack will be pushed according to slow half and full okay other than that when the engine we give stop the stop signal will come here and will activate the puncture wall okay so once activate the puncture wall no fuel will go same way we got slow down shut down and slow down okay so there are different condition where engine will shut down and slow down we'll talk on that we got a governor here we got a fuel pump and we got a tachometer to measure the rpm other than that we got a starting air distributor so when you give head and astern so this will move and uh, when the this particular center piece will move down and air will come here and this air will be uh, opening for head and also for astern depends on which unit in what place okay guys so let's start the system so maneuvering system allows control of the engine by adjusting the timing of the air distributor and the fuel pump that is for head and astern direction of rotation okay once you are giving head then what will happen then next thing is going to starting starting the engine with the compressed air compressed air is used up to a speed at which the atomized fuel in ignites and readily in the combustion chamber okay once that is ignited it then engine will start then speeding up the uh, signal will be given to the fuel pump through the governor or directly to the fuel index so fuel index directly under emergency control okay that is on so then you see the telegraph will go uh, from dead slow to full and then when you give stop signal it is activating the puncture wall okay so puncture wall is shown in this block so it will be on the fuel pump puncture wall at this point so then setting the fuel index to zero okay 
So let's start the system. See how it is working. I press head. Once I press head, you can see the signal coming here, and you can see uh, the thing has moved here. You can see the green color, and you can see the uh, uh, follower has moved, and you can see the reversing mechanism for moving in the head direction. You can see here. So this is become green, green, and green. Now we want to give start. Once you give start, you can see this. It is uh, the signal is going all the way here. Then you can see here it is uh, again it is opening. Now you can see uh, the engine is uh, running with air. So now we want this to run by fuel. So I give. Then you can see the dead slow here. You can see the dead slow on the fuel pump also here. Now you can see half. Here you can see the fuel pump half, and you can see the injector is firing, and it has gone to full ahead. So this is how it is working, and you can see the starting air wall is in the close position, and the engine is right now running. Okay. Now if I again uh, click this speed setting, you can see. Uh, the speed has come down and uh, again afterwards the speed increases half then you can see half then full okay this is how it is working if i give stop you can see what is happening when i give stop so you can see the we are reducing the telegraph slow dead slow then stop then you can see the signal coming to the puncture wall and it is stopping the engine so this is for the head again when you click a stern you can see uh, again the piston is moving on the other side this also cam is moved follower is moved on the other side okay and uh, you can see uh, the signal is coming and you can see this is a stern okay now we, it's waiting for give start once i give start you can see what will happen here uh, the air is coming here then you can see here the air is coming here then it is moving in the astern direction okay now only air is coming injection is not taking place because we give start next i give send signal then you can see it is going dead slow you can see slow half it's firing now it will go to full you can see here so this is how the whole system is working so now again i press uh, sending speed signal you can see it is again uh, reduce the thing again it is coming up okay this is how it is working so now i give a stop signal so once i give a stop signal the telegraph uh, will come we are reducing the telegraph okay you can hear the engine noise stopping and ultimately the puncture wall is actually activating for that purpose okay guys uh, this one is the simple explanation of the maneuvering system uh, and uh, if you have any doubt you can message me and uh, have